town in blind panic as city of millions stands just 10 weeks from taps running dry. City authorities have imposed tough limits of water use to try a perverse Cape Town's precious reserves as day zero approaches. Water management expert, Neil Armitage, said, It's like waking up one day to a magnitude 7 earthquake. The buildings are falling down. Everyone is in a panic. Locals are going to extraordinary lengths to secure drinking water. Resident Fauza Hendricks travels over 12 miles to a spring to collect drinking water to top up her quota. The city authorities allow residents to use 50 liters of water a day, which they claim is enough to drink, do one sink full of washing and take a two minutes shower. Ms. Fauza said, everybody is panicking. Anyone found to be ignoring the limits will have a limiting device placed on their pipes stopping them exceeding the quota. Cape Town local Megan Garrick said, I haven't bathed for over a year and I have the most beautiful bath overlooking the garden. The water limit was recently slashed from 87 litres to just 50 litres per each of the site's 4 million residents. Trevor Hennings has installed boreholes to allow people access to water from aquifer beneath the city for a cost of around £14,600. He said, there's blind panic now. Local resident Muhammad Ali said, many desperate locals, armed with plastic containers, can also be seen collecting water from mountain streams around the city. Water has clearly become the new gold of Cape Town, a city famous for its beaches and mountains. The city rations 50 liters per day per resident, which covers drinking, washing cooking and even flushing the toilet. Authorities and residents are desperately trying to stave off day zero set for April 12, when the city will become the world's first to run out of water. Subbreweries has set up five taps outside of their premises in an effort to help residents stick to their quota by offering a top-up. The brewery is able to offer fresh water to residents from a natural spring located behind its gates. However, the gesture has been taken advantage of by some seeking to exploit the desperate situation, it has been reported. Mr. Ali said, Security has had to be tightened and individuals limited to 25 liters at a time following accusations that some locals and canny entrepreneurs, who travel great distances, were taking as much as 2,000 liters in one go and selling the water to desperate consumers. The opening times have been adjusted, from a 24-hour operation to 5 a.m., 11 p.m. operation to eliminate incidents of crime. Locals also reportedly trek up mountains with plastic containers to collect water from streams.